as borders reopen, many foreign travelers will seek long-haul travel destinations where they can visit one country after another. Carmelo Ferlito from Center for Market Education shares his thoughts on putting Malaysia back on the map. I think that in this moment, uh, thinking about a regional holiday is, uh, is basically impossible because, first of all, you have a, a totally, uh, totally uh, different regulations from country to country. Uh, so imagine if you have to download uh, an application like MySejatra for each country in which you are going. This is obviously something that is discouraging every, <laughs> every voluntarous tourist. This is the first step. The second is that each country still requires uh, a PCR test before arrival. So if you plan to visit three countries, uh, you will have at the very least three PCR tests. And this is going to inflate the cost of your holiday. And if you are a family, this multiplies uh, by the number of family members. Um, uh, so these are serious uh, obstacles that I think will uh, uh, make people very skeptical uh, to, to come in this region. When you have places like Europe, in which since actually since last year, you can basically travel like before the pandemic within the continent. He said coordination among ASEAN nations in developing reciprocal plans is needed to boost tourism within the region. At least they should make the effort to uh, develop like regional packages. Uh, so uh, something like if you enter Malaysia within a touristic package, then you don't need another PCR to enter Indonesia. You don't need uh, the night of quarantine that now is foreseen, in example, to go to Indonesia. Uh, you don't need uh, additional proof. So you do all the proof that are requested at the first port of entry. But this requires an effort of coordination among nations.